Hi, my name is Meeru Jayavira and this is a short video about my journey through YTT 200 with grace and joy. K.V. Desikacha in his book, The Heart of Yoga, states that the practice of yoga can begin from any starting point. But if we are to be complete human beings, we must incorporate all its aspects in a linear or non-linear method. The eight limbs of yoga are Yama, restraints, moral disciplines or moral vows. Niyama, positive duties or observances. Asana, posture. Pranayama, breathing techniques. Pratyahara, sense withdrawal. Dharana, focused concentration. Dhyana, meditative absorption. And Samadhi, bliss or enlightenment. The most striking aspect of Krishnamacharya lineage of yoga to me personally is what his son Desikacha in his book Heart of Yoga states. The practice should come to the practitioner and not the other way around where the practitioner should go to the yoga practice. Another significant aspect of the Krishnamacharya teaching is the importance he gave to breath. Anybody who can breathe can practice yoga. In the practice, students are taught a rule of thumb to exhale when the body moves towards the ground and to inhale when the body moves away from the ground and to have sthira and sukha in performing asanas. Sthira means steady and focused and sukha is comfort. So if someone performs an asana and is not comfortable in the pose, then the full potential of that pose is not achieved. The unity of the body the movement and breath is called yoga and in Krishnamachara lineage I really understood that aspect. Hence pranayama takes a very significant role in the eight limbs of yoga because the link between the mind and the breath is very important. The Yoga Sutra of Patanjali describes how the practice of pranayama aids in unveiling of the mind to reveal clarity in readiness for deep meditation. Ujjayi pranayama or the ocean breath Kapalabhati pranayama or the breath of fire, Nadi Shodhana pranayama or alternate nostril breathing, Sitali pranayama or the cooling breath, Brastika pranayama or the bellows are all vividly explained in the Heart of Yoga by TKV Deshikachar. The word bandha means to tie or to bring together or to lock. We mainly employed ourselves in three bandhas uh, in YTT 200 with grace and joy. Jalandra bandha, Mula bandha and Udhyana bandha. The bandhas play an important role in the cleansing process of yoga. The process inside the body created by pranayama can be intensified by employing bandhas. The three most important bandhas, Jalandra bandha, the neck lock. Udhyana Bandha, the ab lock, and Mula Bandha, the pelvic floor lock, are comprehensively described in Desikachar's book. The Yoga Sutras of Patanjali is more universal than any other text because it focuses on the mind, the qualities of the mind and how we can influence the mind. The true heart of yoga, the Patanjali Yoga Sutra, is explained as the potent tool for the teacher who makes it relevant to the student and thus transmit the transformative power of the heart. Chapter 1 of the Sutra, Samadhi Pada, discusses yoga and its characteristics, the problems and resolution to those problems encountered by a yogi. The second chapter, Sadhana Pada, explains the qualities necessary to change the mind effectively. The third chapter, Vibhuti Pada, describes the capacity of the mind. And the fourth chapter, Kaivalya Pada, is essentially for the person with a highly refined mind. I entered the philosophy with asana practice, but today with the teachings of grace and joy, I'm trying to embrace all eight limbs of the true yogic lifestyle. <laughs>